Hi everybody, welcome back. Time to unroll your mat, do some yoga, grab some props if you need them, blocks, a blanket, a strap. Don't worry if you don't have them, we can certainly work around them. We have some grounding and some fun strengthening flow today. Let's get going. We'll begin today in a comfortable seated position on the mat. I am sitting cross-legged on a block. Feel free to do the same or use a bolster or blanket. Don't worry if you don't have anything or maybe you just don't wanna use a prop, that's okay too. Let your hands fall onto the lap or on the legs. Sit tall. If it's comfortable to do so, close the eyes. Taking a deep breath in through the nose. Exhaling it out the mouth, continue sitting tall. Inhaling. Exhaling out the mouth. One more. Feel free to keep the breath moving in and out through the nose. Firing up your ujjayi breath. This time of year, ujjayi is particularly helpful, heating up the body from the inside out. Lengthen the breath. Continue bringing your focus to what's happening in the body focusing on the movement that's happening in the body. As we deepen the breath, there's also the beating of your heart, the circulation through the body, the energy moving through the body, lots of things happening on the inside. Let's give ourselves about three more deep breaths right here. And bringing palms together at the heart. Feel free if you choose to set an intention for your practice today. Even if it's just something as simple as focusing on the breath. Feel free to keep your eyes closed if you choose, if they're still closed. With the palms still together at the heart center, inhale, lift the arms straight up overhead, interlace all 10 fingers, flip the palms up to the sky as your shoulders move away from the ears. If it's comfortable to do so, maybe your chin drops to your chest. Continue sitting tall and let's take one more deep breath. Letting your chin return to neutral. Keep the fingers interlaced. Let the hands cradle the very back of your head, almost as though you're not putting your hands there at all. So no pressure. The shoulders continue to drop. Let your chest lift up a little bit more. Feel your tailbone lengthen toward the earth. 
As you continue sitting tall, maybe tilt the chin up about half an inch as the heart opens to the sky. With your next exhale, bring the elbows toward each other as you round. Still no pressure on the back of the head like a modified cat pose here. Inhaling, sit tall, lift the elbows, reach out, chin up just a tiny bit. Exhaling, round it down, bring the elbows toward each other as you curl. Inhaling, lift, elbows out. Exhaling, round it down. Let's do two more, just moving nice and easy with your breath. Gentle arching on the inhale. Exhale, nice, easy, rounding down. Good, well, let's do one more. Come back up to a neutral spot. Lift the arms back overhead, return the prayer to the heart center, opening up the eyes if they're not already open. Let's come onto our hands and knees. Let's get moving a little bit more. Feel free to keep your props close by. And of course, always modify your practice as it makes sense for you. Good. Spreading the fingers wide, slide the right leg back behind you with the toes tucked in the mat. Gently pressing the right heel back enough so you can feel a little bit of a wake up along the right leg. Almost as if you're lifting the back of your right kneecap up to the sky. And sliding your right leg out to the right side toward three o'clock. I'll do this facing you. Your right leg out to the right side, your heel flat on the mat, the toes relaxing down. Very slowly drag your fingertips toward your body, roll up, slow to stand where your head comes up last. Let the right arm relax down the right leg, sweep the left arm over, continue lengthening the tailbone down. Lift out of the waist as you stretch, opening through the left side, gate pose. Take one more deep breath. Lower the left hand, lower your right hand, slide your right knee in, go the other way, starting with your left leg extending back. The toes are tucked. Your left heel gently pressing back, just enough so you feel a little wake up in the leg. The hips are level. Now it's your left leg sliding out to the left side. Again, facing you, that looks like this. Your left heel to the mat, the toes rest nice and easy. Slide the fingertips in slow toward the body, roll up. When the head comes up, the shoulders soften. Left arm down the left leg, right arm sweep it over. The left shoulder just relaxes away from the ear. Let's take another deep breath. Returning your right hand to the mat, left hand to the mat. Bring your left knee in, pressing through the hands, pressing through all 10 fingertips, keeping the wrist crease lined up with the front edge of the mat. Come into downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, hips up and back. And of course, in your first down dog of the day, feel free to walk out your feet. Staying connected to your breath. Big inhale, lift the heels up. Big exhale, sink the heels to the mat. Bring it forward to plank, lining up the shoulders over the wrist. With a little readjusting, bring it back to your down dog as the heels reach toward the mat. Put a soft bend in the knees, look forward, step or float the feet to the front of the mat. 
Fold over the legs, the feet slightly separating, head down, roll up slowly to stand, pressing through the legs, lift away from the mat, head up, softening shoulders back, Tadasana. Big inhale, sweep the arms around, reach, exhaling, dive over the legs with the arms behind you, interlace all 10 fingers, stretching arms overhead. Keep the head dropping down. You can bend the knees as much as you like, but at least making sure you have a micro bend in the knees to release the low back. One more inhale. Exhaling, relax hands or fingertips to the mat. Lift your chest, maybe palms to shins. Exhaling the left leg back, low lunge. Keep the hips level, take your twist, lift the right arm high. Feel free to modify with your back knee on the mat if you choose. One more deep breath in. Exhale, lower the right hand, down dog, step back. Big inhale, take it forward to plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin. Bhujangasana, pull the heart center through, tops of the feet down, returning to down dog, or take child's pose. Let's give it about three deep breaths here. From your down dog, look forward, walk or hop the feet lightly. Lift the chest, inhale, exhale, round, fold over. Inhale, sweep the arms around, Urva Hastasana, reach up, overhead, exhaling, dive, arms behind you, change the grip, interlace fingers, arms overhead, relax the head down, keeping the knees soft, one more deep breath in. Exhaling, arms toward the mat, lift the chest, inhale. Exhale, right leg back, low lunge. Take your twist, lift up the left arm. Feel free to modify here if you choose. Reach high, one more deep breath in. Exhale, the left hand down, down dog, step back. Big inhale, roll forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga or modify. Inhale. Opening the heart, soften the shoulders back. Exhale back to downward facing dog or child's pose, deep breaths. From your down dog, look forward, walk or hop the feet. Lift the chest on the inhale. Exhale, rounding it down, stepping your feet together, toes and heels touch, bend the knees, Utkatasana chair. Feel the shoulders peel away from the ears, keep the hips dropping down, find length in the spine, bringing palms together at the heart. And we're gonna move through a strengthening sequence here, but we're gonna do it nice and easy, slow controlled movements. Standing figure four, shift the weight to the right foot, left ankle above the right knee. Nice hip opening stretch, gaze past the nose. One more breath. Let's warrior three. You can keep the palms at the heart center, extend the left leg back, find length, along the body, crown of the head forward, left heel back for a breath. Touching your left toes back on the mat, slide your left foot closer up behind your right foot, bending deep through the knees for a curtsy squat, really strengthening, firing up your right leg, really press through the whole right foot and leg. With your next inhale, lift the hips up, warrior three again, left leg back, stepping into high lunge. Bring the left foot back, chest up, head up, arms overhead. Uh, 
that's it. Interlace fingers, change the grip, palms pressing up to the sky. Feel free to soften the back knee if you need to. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Then hands behind the head, just very lightly cradling, no pressure. Elbows out toward the sides, let the eyes look up for a breath. Returning the arms overhead, open up for warrior two, reach out to the side, look over the right middle finger for a breath. Reversing the warrior with the right arm up, straighten out the right leg as you lengthen through the whole right side of the body. Triangle pose, trikonasana, reach the right arm forward, lift the left arm, reaching toward the mat. Soften the front knee if you need. Use a block under the right hand if you need. And of course, if you have the room to do so, your hand can lower all the way toward the mat. Strong legs, chest up, looking up if you can. Take one more breath. Press through the legs, come all the way up, arms out to the side, bring your hands to the waist, turn the right toes in so you're facing the left side of the room. Check in with your feet, we're doing a modified goddess pose. Bring the heels in slightly, the toes out slightly, bending the knees deeply, your knees nicely aligned over the heels to avoid caving in the knees, right? We wanna protect the knees here. Good. Tailbone down, chest up. Reach the arms out to the side and just bring palms together at the heart. We'll do three rounds of this as you press through the legs. Inhale, sweep the arms around and over. Exhaling, palms together at the heart. Reaching the arms out, bring the elbows in, palms together. Inhale, sweep the arms around. Prayer to the heart. Reach the arms out, bring the elbows in, prayer back at the heart. One more. Inhale, sweep the arms. Prayer to the heart. Reach the arms out, bring the elbows in, prayer back at the heart. Press through the legs, warrior two, as you come up, reach out, big inhale. Exhale, skandasana, the hands to the inside of the right foot, walk it back of the mat, stretch the right leg, keeping your left heel down as best you can. One more breath. We'll meet in low lunge at the front of the mat. Walk around. When you're in low lunge, lower the back knee, Ardha Hanuman half split, straightening out the front leg. Give it another deep breath. Bend up at the right knee, down dog, step back. Feel free to hold or flow through. One more deep breath. With your inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, step to low lunge. Standing split, transition, lift the left leg, relax the head down, step all the way to the front of the mat and fold over the legs, round it down. Switching up the sides, stepping the feet back together, Utkatasana chair, sit deep, arms high. Soft shoulders, palms to prayer at the heart, lengthen the spine, gaze past the nose, shift your weight to the left foot, Standing figure four, it's the right ankle lifting up above the left knee. Nice stretch through the right hip, one breath. Keeping palms to prayer at the heart, warrior three, right leg back, lengthen right heel back, crown of the head forward for a breath. Step your right toes back Step your right foot closer up behind the left for the curtsy squat. Bend deep through the knees, really keeping the left leg fired up nice and strong. With your inhale, come up, hips up, warrior three, the right leg back. 
high lunge as your right foot steps back, come up, arms up. When you interlace fingers, change the grip again, flip the palms up to the sky, shoulders away from the ears, maybe soften the back knee a little bit if you need. Right, maybe that just feels good. Let the hands very lightly, almost like you're not putting pressure there at all, cradle the back of your head. Elbows drop out to the sides, chest up, maybe chin up half an inch. High lunge, the arms up, warrior two, reach out, deep breath, strong arms, shoulders down. Reversing the warrior, sweep the left arm high. Straighten out the left leg, lengthening, triangle, trikonasana. Turn the arms, reach the left arm forward, sweep the right arm high. Looking up if you can, soften the back knee if you need. Keep the breath fired up. One more. the legs nice and strong press down bring it all the way up with the arms out you can let the hands rest on the waist turn the left toes in facing the right side of the room opposite side modified goddess pose bring the heels in toes out slightly tailbone down bending deep through the knees keep the alignment clean here let the arms reach out bring the palms together Keep the legs, the bottom half, exactly where it is. Keep the legs strong. Inhale the arms out and over. Exhale, prayer to the heart. Inhale the arms out. Exhale the elbows in, prayer to the heart. Two more, inhale out, over, exhale. Inhale, exhale, elbows in. Last time, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Press through the legs, straighten out, come up, warrior two at the front, pivot the left toes, reach the arms out, one breath. And taking a big inhale with your exhale, skandasana, hands to the inside of the left foot, travel to the back of the mat, stretch the left leg for a breath. low lunge at the front. Walk it around. Lower your right knee, Ardha Hanuman half split. Straighten the left leg, breathe in. Breathe out. So we wanna strengthen hamstrings, but we also wanna stretch them. We have to do both components there. Bending up at your left knee, down dog, step back. Hold or flow, if you can, you should flow through. But again, always honoring where you are in the event that that's not a good idea today. Let's meet in down dog. Hold for another deep breath. From your down dog, inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Standing split transition, the right leg high forehead to the front shin for a breath and stepping all the way forward to the front of the mat fold over the legs as you round stepping your feet back together bend the knees utkatasana chair and dive over the legs uttanasana head down lift the chest inhale step it back jump it back we'll meet in down dog however you choose to get there Give yourself another deep breath. With your next big inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, step to lizard pose. Bring the right foot outside the right hand. Big step. You can keep the back knee lifted. You can lower it. You can keep hands down. If there's room, you can lower elbows or use a prop like a block or something underneath the elbows to give you a little bit of height as an option if you want to stay right here 
but add a quad stretch with the back knee down. Bend the back knee up, take your right hand, reach for the left foot. Let the hips sink in, let the heart open forward, and flex your foot so you can really feel the top of your left leg wake up here as your right hamstring is also waking up. One more breath. As you release both hands to the inside of the front foot, if they're not already, back knee down, modified half split, straighten the front leg. Let's hold right here for a breath. You can always put blocks into the hands if you choose. Rebend the front knee. Let's transition into pigeon pose. Bring the right knee through, left leg back, sit tall. If you're modifying, you're on your back doing the reverse figure four. If you're otherwise good, you can come forward, relax the head down, surrender to the stretch, keeping the breath very much fired up. All right, just kind of letting go through the shoulders. Okay, giving yourself another deep breath. As we release, walk the hands in, lift the head, the chest up. Roll to the outer right edge of your mat. Sweep the left leg around, coming into Janu Shirshasana, the right foot close to the inner left thigh. Sit tall, just walk the hands out over the left leg. Reach for the left foot. Use a strap or belt if you need. If the left knee needs to soften up a little bit, let it. Giving yourself another deep breath or so right here. And as you release out, walk the hands back in, coming out as you went in. Artemasi and Drasana, lift the right knee. Step your right foot outside the left leg. Sit tall, twist right, deep breaths. One more time. Let's bring it back to center. Little counter stretch left. Return to center, unwrap the legs, come back to hands and knees as we meet again in downward facing dog. Maybe take one more plank chaturanga if you'd like to flow. Switch the sides, inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, lizard, left foot, big step outside the left hand. Back knee up, back knee lowered, lots of options. Do the one that's gonna make sense for you. If you can do the same thing from the first side, that is what you should do. And if you did the quad stretch on the first side, let's do that. Lift the back foot, take your left hand, reach back. Grab your right foot and flex the foot as the hips sink in, the heart opens forward. So we're opening up the top of the right leg as well as releasing out the left hamstring. Give yourself another deep breath. Letting it go, let's meet back in center, both hands inside the left foot, back knee down. Straighten out the left leg, modified half split for a breath. Let's re-bend the left knee, transition into pigeon. Left knee forward, right leg back. Sit tall, soften the shoulders, modifying on the back if you need to for the sake of your knees or hips, or if you're good to go. Walk the hands out and let's take a couple more deep breaths. Keeping the right toes pointing straight back. One more deep breath.
Walking the hands back in, lift the head, the chest up. Roll to your outer left hip, Janu Shirshasana, the right foot sweeps around, straight right leg, left foot against the inner right thigh, sit tall, walk the hands out, reach for the right foot, use a strap or belt if you need, if the right knee needs to soften, let it. Relax the shoulders and take another deep breath. Releasing slow, walk the hands back in, return upright, lift the left knee, Ardha Matsi and Drasana, step the left foot outside the right leg, spine lengthen, sit bones down, twist left, breathe. One more. Coming back to center, brief counter stretch right. Return to the middle, unwrap the left leg, bending at the knees, roll back slightly off the tailbone, Navasana, lift the legs. You can either keep the knees bending or straighten them out. Five breaths. Chest up, belly fired up, two more. Let's bend up at the knees, roll onto the back, hug your knees in, rock a little side to side if you like. Maybe taking a happy baby pose if that feels good here. All right, releasing the back, the hips. And if this is when you usually take your inversion, feel free to take a headstand or shoulder stand. If you're not going upside down today, stay on your back, Supta Baddha Konasana. Feet together, knees out. Maybe put blocks or something under the knees if the hips are asking for a little, a little TLC today. Nice deep breath, stay present. If you're upside down, carefully make your way back out. Take your counter stretch briefly for a breath or so, maybe two or three. And if you're on your back already, the hip opener, fold the knees in, hug your knees in toward the chest. Again, releasing out any way that you choose here. Let's all meet up on the back. Hug the knees in, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bring the forehead to the knees for five, four, three, two, one. Shavasana, extending out the legs on the mat. Separate the feet a little bit, turn the palms up as the arms drop out. Close your eyes. Letting go of the ujjayi breath. Let yourself settle back into space, softening the space between the eyebrows, unclenching the jaw, feeling yourself melt back on the mat, letting go, enjoying this release, enjoying this opportunity to let the body restore, recover, and just doing this for yourself, the most important part of your practice right here. Thank you.